Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to World of Tanks Blitz and today we're going to be here in the T28 HTC uh, Independence, the Tier 7 Premium uh, Tank Destroyer, which is a very fun, it's a very, very nice tank destroyer. And we're going to be here, it is a Tier 8 game, um, but we are going to be on Fort Despair. There's a lot of areas that we can use our angling and our frontal armor to uh, yeah, stop them, because as we all know, the frontal armor of this thing... Uh, when, when angled at a decent degree is uh, very nice as I crash into a uh, MXAC-48 heading over to base C with the uh, Object 252U. So I was going to go this way pretty much regardless. We do have a P-44 Pantera coming with us as well, which is not recommended <laughs> if you're in a medium tank, but he's, I don't know, going off to do some quick spotting, maybe. I don't know. He, he rushes over there. We do still have the uh, 252U at least with us. One of the better tier 8, tier 8 uh, tank destroyers, uh, heavy tanks rather. So yeah, P44 has all of a sudden found himself the entire enemy team. There they are, all seven of them. And we're going to come around here and we're going to put a shot straight into the T44. And we're going to sit here covering our weak little side machine guns as we put a shot right into the lower glacis of that Tiger P. Going for the Yag Panther because at this point I had a mission to destroy four tank destroyers and I was like two away or something and so yeah. Yag Panther put a, puts a shot right through my track. I put a shot into the Yag Panther and I knew as soon as I was reloading, yeah, there we go, someone else finishes them off, so could have seen that one coming. Still going for the shot on the Tiger P, unfortunately though, he's backed up far too far. Um, Bounce the shot off the side of the T29. Wasn't really going to get through him from there. But lower glacis though. We can easily go through him. There we go. Getting some lovely lower glacis shots on him. As the lerva was stopping him. Uh, don't really have shots on the lerva there. Going for the mid midsection. And nope. Could have could have gone for the uh, could have gone for the side of the turret. But instead, there's a T29, and unfortunately I crash against some rocks and don't manage to get him. The uh, Tiger P is dead, however, luckily, very lucky to get that snipe shot on the uh, top of that lerva there. The uh, Commander's Cupola is notoriously tricky to penetrate on both the T29 here, T34, and that lerva, because they're just so small on top of the tank. It's very easy to bounce, but we can get straight through the rear of his turret there, his, uh, as he's sort of sandwiching the object 252U. His ammo was damaged, but luckily we do manage to finish him off just before the Panther cam. There's that T-44, and originally I was going to go and try and do get some damage on that Lerva, but then I see the Comet and the T-44 over here. Shot into the Comet, and then we angle ourselves up on him. He bounces off us, hits our, tar hits our track. That is a stock co uh, Comet as well, because that is a Cromwell turret on that Comet. And so, yeah, he's, he's not an upgrade Comet. Unfortunately, he does manage to finish off the Panther, but I've still come around here trying to get a shot on him. There he is, and yeah, you shouldn't really have poked at me. Finish him off. Here comes the T44. T44 misses, and he starts backing it up very, very quickly. It is a 2v2 situation. Me and the IS-3 versus this T44, who I managed to shotgun in the face there, versus the P44. And... It is still possible for us to lose. It is very possible for us to lose. If this Pantera can uh, finish off this IS-3 and get around me, there's not much I can do about it. However, I've got the more HP, so I just charge him, basically. He bounces off me once. The uh, yeah IS-3, for some reason, is firing HG. Not the best idea. This guy manages to uh, pen me frontally. There we go, in the uh, driver's hatch. But he misses his next shot, and I put a shot right through his side to finish him off and get my fourth kill there. Both me and the IS-3 were the only ones to kill things that game. <laughs> so, yeah, there you go. Still, we did manage to kill the, uh, kill the Pantera, which was very nice. So, yeah, top of the team. Ace Tanker, high caliber, top gun. 3,900 damage done for 4 kills, 46,000 credits. We didn't have to spend any APCR, actually, in that game. Uh, but even so, we did make uh, about half of our credits back. Well, actually, no. We, we lost about 20,000 credits from various means. 
mostly it is going to be ammo. Uh, there you go, 17,000 uh, credits in terms of ammo, even though we didn't really spend that much. Uh, any APCR, rather, that was all just regular armor piercing, but even so, 46,000 credits. We did damage uh, all of their team at least once. Um, got that one shot into the Lerva, sniped his, uh, sniped his commander. We did actually damage the ammo rack as well of that T29. Um, and yeah, 17 shots fired, 17 hits, 16 pens. We did receive that one penetrating hit from the uh, P44, which went through our driver's hatch there, or driver's viewport. But even so, it's still a very nice game, and this is still a very fun tank destroyer nonetheless. So yes, yeah, so I'll thank you for watching, and goodbye.